doing a great day at 9 a.m. this Wednesday morning, July 3rd. I'm Nicole Maleffa. And I'm Caitlin Francis. We were just talking about Marcy's nice headband. I still have her blow-up golf club in my oh, car God, from, from Travelers. Travelers. She comes prepared for all holidays <laughs> and events and spectacular yeah. things. Props so. to Marcy, yes. who always <laughs> has the props. <laughs> all right, uh, we are going to find out what the weather is going to be like this 4th of July holiday week and weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's head right out over to Jill. How's it going, Jill? Good morning, ladies. Good morning, everyone. Well, it is a beautiful outside. We get to enjoy low humidity one more day. Temperatures will be climbing inland into the middle and upper 80s along the shoreline. Low 80s at best. We will see the onshore flow kicking in the sea breeze. A few passing clouds, but staying dry. Looking good for fireworks this evening. And if you are going to any one of the many displays, we'll have maybe a cloud or two. Temperatures in the low 70s. Next chance for showers is going to be developing on, well, the 4th, but very isolated in nature. We're talking about a 20% chance, so just a slight chance. Most of the day is dry, it will be muggier, and highs in the upper 80s and low 80s along the shoreline. Friday, kind of more of the same. It's the first alert we have is for Saturday. We're tracking scattered showers and storms, and they will be more disruptive across the state. So you might have to change your plans. Back to you guys. All right, thanks, Jill. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, Saturday is not looking great, but at least tomorrow is looking okay. Yeah, exactly. You know, there's so many people obviously gathering tomorrow, and yep. you know, Sunday's not too bad either. Sunday looks like so, it's the pick of the weekend, yeah, so not a bad rain date for that Saturday. A little planned. bit of good news, <laughs> and some more great news here for you on your Wednesday. Two little girls who nearly drowned are being released from the hospital. Yeah, they spent more than a week there, and they are now home with their mom mm -hmm. in New York. The mayor of West Haven shared this good news about the girls who just turned three. They also got a special visit from the officers that you just saw in that picture who pulled them out of the water at Dawson Beach. Police say their father, 41-year-old Rami Desronville, pleaded not guilty to attempted murder yesterday. We're going to continue to follow this case and we'll be bringing you any new information, but it's always nice when we can report some good news yeah. on some horrible stories like that. Um, sometimes all it takes is a little bit of ice cream also to make it a great day, right? Yeah, I mean, I think we can attest to that. Absolutely. Well, the Liberty Bank Surprise Squad treated all of the kids and staff at the Boys and Girls Club in Hartford to some scoops of kindness. Channel 3's Irene O'Connor shows us how it went. We're with the Liberty Bank Surprise Squad. And we have a big surprise for you today. From soft serve. Here's the vanilla to SpongeBob, to snow cones. With the help of the tall man ice cream truck. And here's the birthday cake. The Liberty Bank Surprise Squad spread some kindness to the kids at the Southwest Boys and Girls Club in Hartford. It's a special place where memories are made. The club is a place where dozens of kids come each summer to the camp for just $100 a week for an all-day camp. It's a much-needed respite for parents' wallets and, of course, for the kids. We have fun and we do a lot of things. I love it here. Parents know that their kids are in a safe place. They are with uh, kids their age. I think this is like a safe haven for most of our kids. This summer's theme is a time machine. <laughs> And there are lots of happy campers here. The best camp and the best staff. Yeah. I wish everybody could be here because it's the best camp. Ice cream just seems to make everything that much better. Thank you for coming out. Thank you, Liberty Bank. Thank you, Liberty Bank. So nice one. Irene O'Connor, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Oh, oh nothing better than an ice cream on a hot summer day. A lot of happy campers, as Irene said there. Exactly. That's awesome. And for them to be screaming, literally, for ice cream. Yep. Like, that's as candid as it gets there. <laughs> I think that that is just the epitome of kids in the summertime. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, the Liberty Bank Surprise Squad wants to keep spreading that kindness, so we need your help to do it. Yeah, if you know someone who deserves to be recognized, make sure to nominate them today on the WFSB app. Or you can go to WFSB.com and click right on the Surprise Squad nomination form. The city of Hartford is providing kids with some free fun activities during summer break. Night Gym Sports returns starting next week so kids can participate in activities like basketball, soccer, volleyball, swimming, even ninja warrior classes what? all for free. And this
this summer, from the time your kids wake up to the time your kids go home at 8 p.m., our hope is that we keep them engaged in this community. It's such an important thing. Uh, and it takes so many partners to make this work because all of our kids deserve all of the services and, and, and recreational opportunities that kids in every other neighborhood get. Yeah, the, the program will run from 4 to 8 p.m. July 8th through August 16th, and the plan has been in the works for months since the city launched its sports and rec department, so activities, again, are free. You do have to sign up, though, and I know, Nicole, the Ninja Warrior classes sound like fun. I know. That's, what, an, what an appeal there. Yeah. My son heard that. He'd be like, Mom, I'm going camp there. I know. Night, so night <laughs> awesome. gym. So you just have to sign up. That's awesome. Yeah. And, and free. Even better. Perfect. All right.